Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to take one quick assessment on Lean Six Sigma, particularly we are talking about measure phase. In the measure phase, you all know that it has triangular things, triangular subject get cover. One is process capability, CPCPK, PPPPK, and then next one is control chart like IMR chart, X bar R chart, C chart, U chart, NP chart, P chart. Another one you have MSA that is GRR and attribute agreement analysis. In this one, we are going to discuss a few questions and along with the answers. The, here we go. The first question is mean equal to 2, median equal to 7. That means mean is smaller, median is higher. In And uh, the measured value of skewness is min point, uh, minus point 0.6. And what it is called? As we know that if the value is uh, mean and median is equal to, that is called uh, zero skewness and it's called perfect symmetrical if it has been mean is lower and median is uh, higher in this very case that means the left is skewed we can say a negative value we can say the other way uh, clue you can get it the skewness value will get it like negative that means left is skewed and positive is skewed mainly positive value will get it so in this case since the value since the median is higher and also the skewness value is minus 0.6 so the answer is left skew let's go to the next example left uh, there is a two images being given there and been combined left is a normal data and the right is non normal data how it is a normal data if you look at the p value is greater than 5 percentage and when you do a normality test it is almost perfect all the data all the values are perfect online and here and there there is slight drip but uh, still online but here you can see that the values almost it looks like it, it can form two or three distributions right so the p value is less than five suggests that the data is not normal right so therefore the left is the example of normal and right is an example of non-normal so it is true let's go to the third question LCL and UCL gets calculated from the control chart limit limit formula that you can see here X bar R chart where 22 is X bar value and average value LCL is 5 and then UCL is 39 right and whereas the other side the LSL and USL is being come from the spec right that's true right it come from the specification given by the customer so it's true and according to this book right tqm fifth edition 0.33 will be what is the sigma value so here they have given very beautifully for example let's say if it is 1.33 we all know it's a four sigma and four sigma you can just put it like eight into the denominator you'll keep it like six sigma right so you'll get 1.33 and here we know that it is uh, one sigma is equal to three here the three into two six and the denominator again is the spread is six sigma right one six by six is one and exactly in the same thing 0.67 corresponds to two sigma and uh, in two two by six 0.67 and then if it is 0.33 it refers to one sigma as such if it is 0.33 it refers to one sigma given the recommendation very beautiful recommendation is uh, given in this statistical process control and in that total quality management fifth edition and uh, person edition and it says that the profession quality profession will use these eight items to improve the process like cp does not change and cp cp equal to same uh, the process is centered and all that is given and if the cp is uh, greater than one indicate the process conform to the requirement less than one does not conform to the requirement and uh, one is equal to one it means it is just uh, conform to the requirement that is three sigma so by the way we'll come back quality professional will use these eight, eight items to improve the process for example if a cp value is less than one the corrective action must occur initially 100 percent inspection is necessary to eliminate non-conformities one solution would be to increase the tolerance of the spec another solution would be to reduce the standard deviation yes let's go to the next question data is let's say in this uh, in the six pack process capability uh, if you see here the normality probability plot right normal probability plus 0.3 suggests that the data is normal 
right if the p value is less than 5 percentage that means that the data is not normal p must be if it is 0 0.05 less than that it is not normal in this case it is very normal you can see that the values are online so the data is normal So process is, uh, if you look at the process behavior, so this is the spec and there is out layer here and also here also there is an out layer. So CPK equal to 0.47 and in terms of Z bench, sigma value is 1.4. So definitely process is not capable. Why? If you are producing 1 million opportunity, there will be chances that 81,382 can go wrong. So not capable. Which of the following statement cannot be true, right? CP equal to uh, 1.2, CP equal to 1.01. This is possible because the CPK is uh, less than or equal to CP. And CP is uh, same. This is also possible. CP and CPK can be same. The process is centered. CP is 1.5. CPK is greater than CP. This is not possible, right? So this is cannot be true. In GRR, measurement variation due to equipment is called repeatability, right? Another follow-up question on the skewness. Skewness formula is Excel. Like skew, you can just put the array. And kurtosis, you can QURT, you can put the array. And if the value, if the kurtosis value get zero, then it's called platycurtic. If not, if the value is non-zero, that is called lipocurtic. It's true. Standard error of mean, right? Very rarely been used. Whenever p chart is being used and all the other uh, typical advanced calculation, this has been used. Is the ratio of standard deviation divided by square root of n? True. In MSA, re repeatable and reproducibility is thirty-eight percentage, and reproducibility component is a pre predominant. Which of the following action is most appropriate? For example, procure a better equipment or calibrate the gauge immediately, train the operator or perform attribute agreement analysis. The answer is train the operator because it is re reproducibility. Reproducibility is means it is related to appraisal. So training is required or required to perform the attribute agreement analysis. The next question quality technician to chart number of parts rejected every day the daily production fluctuate between 1000 and 1500 the technician should use p chart because x bar r chart is for the uh, continuous data variable data this is a rejection this uh, you know of course is a attribute data u chart that is uh, unit occurrences per unit and imr is also another one that is also continuous data the right answer is p chart so can p chart lcl value be given as a negative no we should not give if the if it is because the negative the rejection cannot be in minus value so if it is even if you get the minus value you should put it like zero to be considered in this very example lcl is zero so false and uh, then you can submit so i will also will be giving you this link you can really take a look on this one and you can also get to have that score also as well like let's say in this example so all this uh, shows green that means the right answer i hope uh, this video is very insightful and knowledgeable please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead